This is a field transmitter made to withstand the conditions outside. So snow, rain, sand, wind. And that's why you see it's so heavy, it's made on an aluminum body and it has this really rugged design. What else can we do with this temperature transmitter? Actually, I can explain you how it works. This transmitter in particular has one advantage has a double chamber. It means that you can connect your sensors without touching your display. This device in particular is IP66 rated. That's why you need this kind of gaskets to avoid any humidity or water to go inside the electronics. Here you can see your terminal connectors in gold so that they have the perfect or the best possible electrical conductivity with your sensors. Here you can see the connection diagrams, but I recommend you to go and verify with the manufacturer's TI, the technical specifications, to see how you should connect your devices. Let's see what's inside a temperature transmitter with some big tools. So we have in fun destroying things. So this is the grounding. When you connect a device, as Ian Verhappen told me once, the most important thing is the grounding. So it seems this side is glued. Let's see if we can go from the other side. So, the other side, the display. This device is for explosion proof zones. That's why you see all these threads. And this glass actually is really thick. So in case there's an explosion inside the terminal head, this device, this head is able to contain this explosion and everybody will be safe. So that's something you need when you're in oil and gas, chemical applications, or when you have dust. Dust as well is really dangerous because it can explode. That's why this device is so rugged. This display, as you see behind, has four plugs. That means you can twist your display at 90 degrees, depending on how you install your device. Here you have the connectors, and here you have as well some uh, transmitter security and fail mode. And let's see what's inside. Ta -ta 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 -tan. Ta -ta -ta -tan. So here we have the electronics. And here you'll see why these devices are so, so reliable. Because if you see here, it's full of glue. These circuits are completely protected by glue so that no, there's no humidity that's able to penetrate on the electronics. The only connection done between the terminal block we have behind and the actual electronics of the transmitter is done by this plug here. So you, if you think that everybody is producing the transmitter this way, think twice. Probably here you have all the filter, filtering of the signal. So the, the signal coming from your temperature sensors is, the, is, is filtered so there's no noise. So here you have all the processing of your signal and as well the conversion of the signal and as well the connection for the display afterwards as is here. But I think that's as much as I can tell you because of this really nice glue they put inside. I think I'm really good at breaking things up. I'm not sure if I'm that good at putting them together. Let's see what happens. So keep tight when circuit alive in explosive atmosphere. We're not in explosive atmosphere, but I don't know. You never know. Huh? Human combustion. And I will tell you, man. So I broke it down. I am quite sure I didn't put it together correctly. So I don't think it will measure temperature ever again in, the, in its life. But maybe, maybe this is her mom proof. And that's a lot. Don't tell my girlfriend about this. There's nothing that's Herman proof. So let's plug it in again. Sorry, can you do the honors? Okay, is it working? So it's starting. It's starting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have to say it was really fun. If you're a vendor and you want to send me some of your devices, I invite you to do so. I will be really happy to try to break them down. Thank you for watching and see you next week.